Here's a quick tutorial on how to grade an item that I've sent to my class. So I'm right here on the home page on the feed, and I'm going to click on my Math 7 class to see all of the assignments that I've sent out. So uh, I'm going to scroll down here, and I see the homework that I sent for uh, tomorrow is right, right over here. So I click on it, I open it up, I can see my document that I sent out with annotations, um, and below I can see all of my students. Now you can see 0 out of 22 are graded, and to add a grade I simply click on the student and enter the grade. If the student submitted homework, uh, the homework would appear right here, and I could click on that and view the uploaded document that the student sent out. So as I grade these items, you'll see that on top here, uh, I can see 3 out of 22 are graded and the class average is a 92.33. That's one way to grade an item. The other way to grade the item is on the grades page using the grid view. So I click on grades, and the first thing the grades page will show me is a little bit of analytics about all my classes, who my weak students are, my uh, top performing students are, even show them right along a number line here. And uh, to go to my specific class, I click on the class up here. And I scroll down, and I can see, if I'm on the grid view over here, uh, all the different items that I've sent out. So um, I can even see everything right here. So this homework that I sent out, if I'm not sure what it is, I can always click on the item itself. It'll bring me straight to that item. I can go ahead and enter in the classic grid style view. So I'm going to go right here, and I can start entering my grades. Now, if you notice, there's a little bit of, a, there's a red flag that pops up. Um, so, it, first of all, the student was marked as absent on the date of this item, and the second is the score exceeds the maximum points allowed. So it looks like this one had a max score of 10, so uh, I'm going to change these grades to reflect that. Now, once I'm done, I can, I can even do really cool things like fill all. So let's say I want to give everyone an A. Um, I can go at A and see this option called A fill all and that will automatically give everyone an A, which is really cool. I can even add comments to a specific student. So let's say I want to add a comment for Kathleen on this item. I click on comment, I say great work, and I click add, and the comment is added. So those are a few different ways of adding grades to an assignment in Chalkable Classroom.